Hey everybody, Grant Sims here at Chief River talking security today, talking about HTTPS. Um, I'm sure you've seen a lot of flowcharts similar to this, uh, but I wanted to kind of walk down uh, the communications that happen during an HTTPS connection and kind of give a little bit of narrative to it. Um, so to kick it off, you know, we have a client browser that's trying to talk to a server securely. Uh, the first thing, some low level kind of networking things happen that we're not going to go into too many details, but you know, it types in, hey, I want to go to HTTPS, you know, mysite.com. Uh, it's going to reach out to some DNS servers to translate that human readable kind of context into an IP address. The server is going to return that IP address. It's then going to make a TCP connection over to the server. And it's going to do kind of the, the typical TCP uh, three-way handshake where it's like, hey, the client's like, hey, server, I want to talk to you. The server's like, hey, let's talk, and then the client's like, hey, I got your message that you do want to talk to me, let's, let's do it. Um, so after that, we now have the TCP communication open. The first thing that's going to happen is the client slash browser is going to send a hello message, and it's going to say, hey, you know, now I want to talk securely. Um, here's the various options I have for talking securely, and it's going to send you know, its various approved Cypher suites. The server is going to look at those Cypher suites, and say, let's see, what's the most secure, compatible, agreed Cypher suite I can I can talk? Hey, look, we can both talk TLS 1.3, um, and here's my uh, Cypher suite that I'm going to use for that, and key exchange, etc. Let's uh, let's talk um, on this agreed Cypher. So it's going to send back a hello to the client browser and say, this is the agreed uh, agreed upon Cypher, and here's my public cert. When that public cert gets over to the client browser, the first thing it's going to do is just verify this public cert is something or uh, you know one uh, that we trust. Inside a client or a browser, um, we have a trusted cert store that's either built into the browser or built into the operating system. And we're gonna reference the signature of that public cert and make sure it's signed by uh, you know a trusted root CA that we've pre-populated to ensure that it's you know signed by someone that we trust. Basically we trust somebody that says we should trust uh, this server is who they say they are. Now at this point, we haven't really verified that they have the corresponding private key, but we're just verifying the digital signature of the certificate that was provided by the server. Next comes the key exchange. So we need to exchange a key um, and get to uh, a, a way that we can have symmetric encryption back and forth during this session. And there's really two ways to go about that. There's RSA and there is Diffie-Hillman. Um, not going to go into the depths of it, but just realize that RSA will actually um, encrypt a compiled secret over here on the browser with the public cert of the server and send that over to the server to then use as the session key on the server side as well. Um, like I said, these are symmetric keys, so they need to be the same on both sides. And that basically is verifying that this server does in fact have the private key. In Diffie-Hillman, it's a little bit different. Um, it enables us to uh, talk with what we call perfect forward secrecy. Basically, we don't need to send a secret across the wire, which then could be replayed later. Um, instead, what we do is using the private key on the server side and using computation on the client side, we can actually compute a secret with actually never sending it across the wire. Um, so in that process, once again, still the key exchange with Diffie-Hillman is utilizing the private key to verify that the server does in fact, you know, have the corresponding private key to the public key that it served earlier. Um, but nonetheless, two different ways to derive a session key. Like we said, Diffie-Hillman is preferred because it, per it enables perfect forward secrecy. And these sessions, should this private key um, you know, be uh, exposed later, no one could actually see what this communication occurred. So now that we have session keys, they're the same on both sides. We are now going to take data, encrypt it with the session key. We then have encrypted data and we send that encrypted data over to the server. The server then can take that same session key that it derived and decrypt the data and have the clear text data. And this is gonna to continue to happen back and forth throughout the communication um, over the internet. So hopefully that gave a good narrative into the high level um, topics of how an HTTPS connections, just to summarize, TCP connection, we then start talking, how are we gonna talk securely between a client and browser? 
We then use um, some different mechanisms for creating a session key. And then after we have that session key, we can then start communicating over the internet and ensuring that um, our data is encrypted. If you have any questions, if you have any thoughts, please put them in the comments and thanks for your time.